Hey Wealthy Hustler, I'm going to show you how to create a content locker with CPA Build. And CPA Build's really good on creating content lockers for noobs or just people who don't really have much web developing experience. If you don't have an account with CPA Build, you can do so by just clicking this link up here in the right hand corner. And if you need any help, be sure to contact me at wealthyhustler.com forward slash contact and then just click the send a messenger button right here and I will get to you as soon as I can. I have a crap ton of requests, but I try and get back to everybody. But other than that, let's get started. If you guys would like to see some more money making news, reviews, guides and motivation, Go ahead and click that subscribe button and that bell notification so you don't miss anything. Alright, so real quick for you people who don't understand what a content locker is. A content locker is a triggered piece of code, whether that's on your landing page or a blog post or anything like that, which locks your website visitor from continuing on further to your site unless they complete that survey or they download that app that the content locker says that he or she has to complete. If the requirement is fulfilled, if the visitor downloads a app or completes a survey, the content locker will unlock and then the visitor will regain access to your site. And then it's up for you to display what you want to your visitor. So let's pretend that we are in the Fortnite niche and we have this really cool landing page. Um, but we want to implement a content locker in when we click this verify now. So when we click it now, nothing happens and that's because we don't have a content locker implemented on this site. So now that I covered what a content locker is, I want to show you how to create a really high engaging content locker. And to do this, you got to go to cpabuild.com and then you're going to go over here to content lockers and we're going to press build or modify a locker. And we can see that we have a bunch of options to choose from. Um, I won't be going over the mobile locker because if you have a mobile niche, I'd suggest that you just use OG ads and you can do that by just clicking this link on the top right hand corner. For the iframe locker, I don't use it because it usually causes responsive issues with the browser and gives the user a poor experience. And I won't be covering the visual editor by Prime just because it's so complex that it's necessary to cover that in another tutorial. But for this specific tutorial, I will be going over the human verification and the games content locker. And for the specific Fortnite niche, I will actually be doing the games content locker first. So as you could imagine, the games content locker is suited for gamers. And I recommend to use this content locker if you have a gaming niche. So this is perfect for Fortnite. And this converts way better for gamers just because of its awesome little interface. And I will give an example of that later. But for the modification name, you can just make it whatever you want. For this, I like to be organized. And so I just type in Fortnite and then underscore game locker. Just so I know this is a game locker and it's Fortnite. And what we're going to do is the primary color and the title color and the footer color, background color. I just really leave this how it is mostly, but I do change the primary color because you just want it to match and be consistent. And so we can see over here, I would make the primary color blue. Um, and we can just kind of eyeball it to that color. So you just click in here and you go into blue. And that's about the color I would like to make this content locker. The background color and the title color, the footer color, that's all pretty good. The number of offers, that's good. You can leave it like that. That's just going to give as many offers as it can, which is five to the users 
to complete surveys. The offers required, I just leave that at one and the payout required, I also leave that at one. And so for the on offer complete, what you can do for this is either redirect to another page if you have another part of the process you want to link your visitors to after they uh, complete your offer. So say that you have a thank you page, or if you just don't and you're just doing a black hat gaming niche, you can close the locker and that's done. You got all that you need. But what I'm going to put for this one is the redirect to URL just because. So say you need to put your specific site in. So I don't really have a site for this right now, but you could do site name.com forward slash thank you dot HTML. And so for the content locker title, you just want to make it centered towards your niche so it looks more legit. Um, I'm more able to believe that this is going to give me my V-Bucks if it says it's a Fortnite V-Bucks content locker, not if it just says human verification required. So you could put uh, humans ver human verification required for V-Bucks. And you can even put on the content locker footer text, V-Bucks are added automatically to your game upon survey completion. So my landing page actually required them to put their username. So we could put V-Bucks are added automatically to your Fortnite account upon survey completion that seems pretty legit that doesn't say it's just added to your game it says to your fortnite account so i mean it is kind of simple stuff guys but you need to think outside of the box and not just click ok on everything you need to render this towards your actual campaign and the overlay opacity I just leave that the way it is, the BG overlay color, background overlay color, I leave that the way it is. I leave all this stuff the way it is because all the settings are just made for this specific content locker. Um, you can disable right click if you want. I generally don't do this because honestly if people are not that smart enough and they complete your content locker anyways, they're probably not inspecting the element of your site and trying to hack into your site. And I mean, it all really depends on the security precautions that you wanna put on your site. But I don't disable the right click. And the verification captcha, I wouldn't put this on here because this is actually the second type of content locker I'm gonna go over. And this kind of just defeats the whole purpose and it just doesn't really look right on the game content locker. And the same with the escape key close, just go ahead, um, leave everything the way it is. And now what we can do once we are done, we can press save and preview. You can see this content locker says human verification required for V-Bucks. And then it gives you the offers and it says V-Bucks are added automatically to your Fortnite account upon survey completion. Okay, so now we went over the game content locker. I want to go over the human verification locker. And this one is kind of my favorite because this goes really with any niche. Um, and I will show you the reason to that um, when I show you the actual content locker itself. Anyways, I like to name these and organize these. But what you want to do is you want to type in your niche that you're doing. And then a dash. And then I'm going to put human HV for human verification. 
And once you go down, you really want to just leave everything the way it is. And I actually would not change the primary color. I would not change the title color, the footer color, any of that. And the reason to that being is because this looks exactly like the Google Capture Lockers. You don't want to really modify anything because psychologically your user might, it might raise a red flag like, whoa, this isn't the real actual like human verification locker. What are they giving to me? You know, you just want to keep it the way it is for human verification lockers. But for the title footer font, I, I leave that the way it is. The locker icon, I leave that the way it is. And the title and the subtitle, I don't really like the default values that they use here. A lot of people just, they go down here, boom, 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 save and preview, and then they're done. And then they wonder why they don't get anybody to convert. Well, that's because your your box title says surveys and then human verification human verification required and all this stuff it just it doesn't look legit so let me actually scroll down and I'm going to preview this so I can show you guys what the content locker looks like and then when we figure out what it looks like we can edit the values of what we want you want to just say human verification required for your Fortnite V-Bucks. And that might be a little long, but we will just see. And then the surveys, we're gonna make that say Fortnite. And we're going to make this say V-Bucks. And then this will say your Fortnite V-Bucks will be added automatically upon survey completion to your Fortnite account. And the BG overlay color, I leave that the way it is. The overlay opacity, leave that the way it is. I leave all this stuff the way it is. You can mess with the animation if you want, but really that stuff shouldn't matter that much. Although it might provide like a psychological effect just because it's different than the all, all the others. Uh, you could do slide from right, but I'm just going to leave it the way it is. Uh, animation duration, leave that the way it is. There's really no point in changing a lot of these things. And again, the on, off, or complete. If you have another process after they complete the survey that you want to direct them to, you are more than welcome to redirect them to another URL. Um, or, you know, that you can just close the locker and that's it. That's all she wrote. Uh, I'm going to redirect to the URL. your site.com slash thank you dot html and we're not going to disable right click the verification captcha <laughs> well that needs to be turned on the captcha button text verified through survey i leave that the way it is to um, offer tool tips leave that on the bu button close escape key close leave that on so now when we press save and preview it's going to show us our brand new content locker for human verification. And it says, human verification required for your Fortnite V-Bucks. Verify through survey. Your Fortnite V-Bucks will be added automatically upon survey completion to your Fortnite account. Surveys for your country take two to three minutes. Typically take two to three minutes. Verify through survey. And it says Fortnite V-Bucks. When we have all of these 
parameters in place here like Fortnite V Bucks, Fortnite V Bucks, your Fortnite V Bucks, your Fortnite account it is starting to look a little bit more believable. All right guys, that sums up this tutorial. In the next tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to actually implement the content locker within your landing page. So when you click verify now, either your human verification content locker or your game content locker, which one you ever chose, will pop up. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel and go to WealthyHustler.com for money-making news, reviews, guides, motivation. Until next time, I'll see you later.